Gentlemen, at this time we present one of our featured attractions. Charge now to give instructions, Josh Rosenthal. Once again, we're scheduled five rounds for the PFC Welterweight Championship. Gentlemen, you've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands all times. Defend yourselves all times. Touch gloves, go back, and let's do this. Well, I would say let's get ready for some fireworks. Olaf Alfonso and Jeremiah Metcalf, two well-known fighters Fight. here in the Central Valley. And once again, Jeremiah Metcalf is an absolutely huge welterweight. Olaf already coming in. Looked like he was going to do a flying knee, but it was blocked by a, a, a kick, basically, from, from Metcalf. Oh, good takedown by Metcalf. I thought Olaf was for sure going to have that takedown. Oh, some flash in the hey. shins there. Metcalf really aggressive with these kicks. The, and Metcalf just ate a knee. Metcalf took that knee straight on the nose of the chin. Well, Metcalf has said that he can overpower Olaf. He thinks he can get in there. But Olaf can take a punch. He took some big ones from Phil Baroni uh, in their matchup. Yeah, but I think Metcalf can overpower 95% of welterweights. No doubt. Uh, he said that when he's in shape and trim, he walks around at over 190 pounds. That's gigantic for a welterweight. Yeah, I mean, when I, I'm considered big for a welterweight. When I'm in shape, I'm, when I'm ripped as could be, I'm 180 pounds. He's a big guy. Uh, he does uh, consistently compete as a, as a middleweight as well. If I remember his last fight here as a middleweight, he competed against a, a guy who's walked in the ring at 220. Armbar Look at his armbar. Armbar there by Olaf. Looks like Metcalf's elbow's out enough to stay away from any damage. He goes with the slam there. Wow, you know, uh, Olaf was 99% there. He just had the angle off a tiny bit, but that was extremely close. Yeah, and that's going to stick in, in Metcalf's mind throughout this bout. Anytime those hips are up, he's got to be careful. Did you see the way Metcalf just picked him up with both arms and signed him back down really easily? Look at this armbar. Arm wow. Arm. This, this looks a little deeper. Belly oh, over. That's a good one. Wow. Not one, but two arm bars. That was huge. Ben. And, and that is that is the beauty of jiu-jitsu right there. Look at the smaller man who's not quite as strong. And look at that angle. Terrible Metcalf angle. Metcalf was in a lot of pain there. Wow. The smaller man got the arm bar. That's amazing. That is incredible right there. And we're looking at it right now. He's pounding with one hand. He leaves his right arm out there. And, you know, to be honest, without trying to talk negatively about Jeremiah, he kind of left his arm out there. That's the angle that you were talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 38 seconds in round number one. An arm bar ends this contest as the fighter taps out. He is the winner by way of submission. He is the new interim PFC welterweight champion, oh.